Um, hello, this is Manuel Contreras, and I'm going to be talking to you about ethics in regards to intellectual properties, specifically the ethical standards of Let's Play videos according to utilitarianism. So let's get started. So first of all, if you're unfamiliar with video games and the culture around it, you may be wondering what's a Let's Play. Um, before I explain, it will probably just help to show you. Um, a lot of them basically go something like this. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hey, hey, welcome. Oh, oh, we're playing. Welcome to the series. Oh, it's Bloodborne. This is Bloodborne. Now I know what you're thinking. What? This game's really hard. Yes, and cheese is delicious. And that's what I was thinking. Right. <laughs> so if you're still unsure about what you just saw exactly, I don't blame you. But um. Let's Plays are videos shared online showcasing video games. Sometimes it may be sections of a game, but it's often um, games in their entirety. This includes retro games and brand new games alike. The most popular avenues for this content are YouTube and Twitch.tv. Twitch is a live streaming channel dedicated just to video games. But there's other streaming services, of course. Um, these videos are actually really popular. They're all over YouTube and there's plenty that get millions of views. Okay. So what's the big deal? Well, let's talk about our ethical actors, the Let's Play streamers. These are people um, playing and commentating over the video games, and many stream uh, streamers profit off of this uh, through ads and s subscription services in the case of Twitch, um, and they actually make some bank. One guy who's pretty popular for whatever reason is someone called PewDiePie. This guy has 37 million subscribers and he generates about four million dollars in ads per year through being loud and entertaining to some people. Um, however, streamers are not involved in the game making process whatsoever. They did not help program the game, they're not developers, they're not publishers, um, and yet they're making money off of other people's business. So, is it ethical? As you know from our lectures, ethics is determined based on the ethical standard that you choose. In this case, it will be utilitarianism. Um, utilitarianism was popularized by Jeremy Bethlehem, that's to do with the rocket hair that you see pictured, and John Stuart Mill. It's a theory that states that the morality of an act shall be judged by its consequences. Now in English, that means, when you narrow it down, that the ends justify the means. Uh, however, a more accurate summary is that an act is moral if it is the greatest good for the majority while minimizing suffering. So the means do matter, but you have to weigh them against the benefits. A good example of this is the bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Uh, the lives saved greatly outnumbering the lives that were lost. Now, from the game maker's point of view, what the Let's Play streamers are doing is unethical. Uh, publishers and developers will qu they'll quickly point out that they retain the copyright to their creations and that others should not profit from their work. Not only that, but they say that it hurts the game's sales. Um, people are streaming. They're basically giving away a game's content for free. You got an entire 40-hour experience that can take a couple years to develop but there it is readily available for consumption at any time without compensation. I mean, a game could come out today and it's already up by the next day. So even worse, um, creators are concerned that these videos can hurt the game's reputation, either bashing the game, saying that it sucks, or with offensive remarks that no publisher wants to be attached to, you know, like sexist or racist comments. Now, is there an ethical argument? Uh, the legality of the streamer's actions is debatable by law, but according to utilitarianism, streamer's profiting is good. It means more money for more people. The problem, though, is that there are examples of uh, game streamers actually hurting game sales. In 2014, um, the publisher Ubisoft released the game Assassin's Creed Unity which was just riddled with bugs and glitches, and these quickly went viral all over YouTube with clips like this. Uh, well, funny, 
The company had to issue an apology for releasing a game that wasn't ready. They compensated purchasers purchases by giving uh, the people who bought it an additional game for free that ultimately hurt the overall profits from sales. Consequently, the company's stock price dropped nearly 10% after release. Um, utilitarianism is quite clear about it. If it hurts the game's sales, it hurts the economy and that makes it bad for society. Thus, you can argue that it is unethical. From the streamer's point of view, they'll argue that the actual appeal of games isn't actively playing them. Games are interactive, so no two gaming experiences are alike. You can't replicate that experience just by watching. Um, this argument is pretty much known as fair use, um, the act that protects content makers like the streamers, by arguing that they are engaged in transformative use, meaning that they're taking existing content and they're making something new out of it. Um, so they're not profiting from the games, but rather their personalities or critiques, or even their gaming skills, such as with tournament players. Um, so let's players say that actually makes their content a form of free advertisement for the game makers. So do the streamers have an ethical argument? Um, in the case of newer or more cinematic games, where the story is the main draw, um, they're not as interactive, so they're basically movies. Um, that makes their streams not so unique, so it's not all that different from posting a movie on YouTube, which would be bad. Um, but at the same time, they are providing more content for society to enjoy. That brings more pleasure into the world, uh, and Bethan considers um, pleasure to be a good. So that's good for the majority. Plus, it really is advertisement, because uh, marketing is more effective when it's endorsed by celebrities or experts. That's why Hanes uh, spends millions to get Michael Jordan to sell underwear. And internet famous gamers are celebrities to their fans, so they can be considered experts as well. Uh, so their opinion matters, and at the same time, they're normal enough to consider to be like your friends. And that makes their posting as a form of viral marketing. So when taking both arguments into account, uh, the overall profits gained by society are good. And there's no real evidence that what streamers are doing is harmful. At least more harmful than good. Um, yeah, they might hurt the sales of some games. But this just forces game makers to make better products. What they're doing can be seen as a service that saves you 60 bucks by not buying a crappy game. Um, publishers overall are being deceptive of streamers, mainly because they're being backed by the gamers, but they're also looking to profit in ways such as splitting ad revenue. If they succeed, that just means uh, overall profits for society anyways. And finally, the prevalence of video games on the internet makes them more mainstream. That means it's okay to wear a gamer shirt or to buy a plushie, and again, that means more money. So overall, I would consider um, what Let's Play streamers are doing to be ethically good by utilitarianism standards. Peace.